As census workers gear up to count us, economists are busy counting them. The government hired 48,000 temporary census workers in March, boosting job gains last month to the highest level in three years. By law, we have to count everyone. If you don't fill it out and mail it back, we'll have to hire someone who will go to your house, knock on your door, and interview you in person. I can tell you that's really expensive. Roughly 700,000 census workers are expected to be added in April and May. The temporary workers earn between $10 and $25 an hour. But their work is important to ensure that this census is as accurate as possible. I think right now, particularly in, in, in this time, it's so critically important. Because, you know, with the city losing resources constantly, be it through the economic crisis that's going on around the country, we are losing the opportunity to get the resources to make sure our communities run efficiently and effectively. The economic downturn, of course, touched virtually every profession. Many of those who have lost their jobs are participating in the government hiring program. Uh, we have um, a lot of people that um, are lawyers, doctors, and because of the economy, they apply for the census, which is great because then we have people very, very qualified for this job. The Commerce Department says the temporary hires could briefly lower the unemployment rate by two-tenths of one percent. And while that is good news for the economy, the long-term effects may only help boost it by a small amount. But with the recession's damage lingering, every little bit counts. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.